good day. Kindly follow me on my Facebook page and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you. In this video for grade 9 mathematics, we will talk about the word problems involving right triangles. So let us now have the example number 1. When a 12-foot ladder is rest against a tree, the base of the ladder forms an angle of 55 degrees with the ground. How far does the ladder from the roots of the tree? So for our solution, we will have this given right triangle. So sabi dyan, when a 12-foot ladder rests against a tree. So for example, so i-represent natin ang ladder as capital letter L. So sumandal siya sa puno. So i-represent natin ang taas na ito as letter T. At ito naman is yung base or roots ng puno. So sabi dyan, sumandal ang 12-foot ladder sa puno. Ibig sabihin, ang haba ng hagdan is 12 feet. So, dito, uh, dito natin ilalagay yung 12 feet. And then, ang base daw ng ladder ay nag-form ng uh, 55 degrees sa ground. So, ito yung baba ng ladder. So, dito natin ilalagay yung 55 degrees. So, the question is, how far does the ladder from the roots of the tree? So, gano'n nga ba daw kalayo ang ladder sa base or sa root. So, dito natin ilalagay yung letter X or variable X since wala pa tayong given measure. Okay. So, magpo-focus tayo sa given angle which is 55 degrees. So, ang X ay adjacent sa kanya at ang 12 feet naman is hypotenuse. So, gagamitin natin yung formula ng cosine or K. So, this will become cosine theta is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. Substitute the given value. So, this will become cosine 55 degrees is equal to x over 12 feet. And then, um, we have to apply the cross multiplication. Pero bago yon, kailangan gawin nating um, fraction ang cosine 55 degrees. So, ang gagawin lang natin is maglagay ng denominator which is 1. Palagi pong may denominator na 1 ang lahat na whole numbers. So, since pareho na silang fraction, so let us apply the cross multiplication. I-multiply ang 1 sa x at i-multiply ang cosine 55 degrees sa 12 feet. So, ito ay magiging x equals 12 feet times cosine 55 degrees. Next is kunin muna yung value ng cosine 55. So, using your scientific calculator, pindutin ang cos or cosine and then i-type or pindutin ang 55. So, ang makukuha niyong sagot when rounded into 3 decimal places is 0 0.574. And then, i-multiply sa 12 feet. So, the value of x is 6.89 feet or 7 feet. So, therefore, 7 feet ang layo ng ladder doon sa baba or sa roots ng puno. Second example, if a 150 feet church tower casts a shadow of 210 feet long, find the measure of the angle of elevation of the sun. Okay, so it represent natin ang church as this one. And then, yung shadow niya is dito which is represented by H. And then, nandito sa taas yung sun. Okay, so gumawa ng anino or nagkaroon ng anino ang church Dahil sa araw, so ito yung nirepresent natin as H. Okay, so sabi dyan, 150 feet church tower. So therefore, ang taas ng church is 150 feet. And then, ang haba ng kanyang shadow na na-form dahil sa araw is 210 feet. So the question is, find the measure of the angle of elevation of the sun. So dito natin ilalagay yung x degrees. Since the question is angle of elevation. So, angle of elevation meaning angle sa taas. Okay, so let us find the given formula. So, x degrees, opposite niya ang 150 feet. At adjacent naman niya ang 210. So, we will use the tangent. Okay, so this will become tangent theta is equal to opposite over adjacent. Substitute the given value. So, tangent x degrees is equal to 150 feet divided by 210 feet. Okay, so i-divide ang 150 sa 210. So, ang quotient is 0 0.714 feet. And then, since ang hinahanap natin is value ng x degrees, so kailangan natin i-transpose yung tangent sa right side ng equation. So, kapag tinranspose natin itong tangent, 
This will become tangent raised to negative 1 or inverse tangent times 0 0.714. So using your scientific calculator, pindutin ang shift or second function and then pindutin ang tangent. And then i-type ang 0 0.714. So therefore, the value of angle of elevation or the value of angle is 35.53 degrees. Third example, a flag pole is 85 feet high. The angle of elevation of the sun is 52 degrees. What is the length of the shadow cast by the flagpole? So, ilagay natin ang flagpole dito. And then, yung ating shadow represented by H is nandito. So, therefore, nandito yung sun sa taas. Okay, so sabi dyan, ang flagpole daw ay may taas na 85 feet. So, dito natin ilalagay yung 85. And then, ang angle of elevation of the sun, meaning dito siya sa taas, since angle of elevation, so dito natin ilalagay ang 52 degrees pataas sa sun, kaya ito ay angle of elevation. So the question is, what is the length of the shadow cast by the flagpole? So gano nga ba kahaba ang nakast na shadow ng flagpole? So ito yung hinahanap nating value. Okay, based on this given angle, 52 degrees, ang 85 feet ay opposite niya at ang x naman is Adjacent. So, we will use the formula of tangent. Tangent theta is equal to opposite over adjacent and then substitute the given values. Kaya magiging tangent 52 degrees equals 85 feet over x. And then, para makuha natin yung value ng x, gawin natin fraction yung tangent 52 degrees para maging pareho na silang fraction. So, lagyan ng denominator which is 1. And then, cross multiply. So, i-multiply ang 1 sa 85 at x sa tangent 52, kaya magiging x tangent 52 degrees is equal to 85 feet. And then, since ang inahanap natin is value ng x, kailangan natin makancel ang tangent 52 degrees. So, ang gagawin natin is divide both sides by tangent 52 degrees. So, makakancel na natin ang tangent 52 dito sa left side. Ang matitira na lang ay x. So, ito ay magiging x equals 85 feet over tangent 52 degrees. Okay, next is kunin muna ang value ng tangent 52 degrees. So, sa inyong scientific calculator, pindutin ang tan or TAN and then pindutin ang 52. So, ang value ng tangent 52 degrees is 1.280 kapag rounded sa 3 decimal places. And then, i-divide 85 divided by 1.280. So, the value of x is 66.41 feet. So let us now summarize what we have learned about this lesson. When we said line of sight, it, it is an imaginary line that connects the eye of an observer to the object being observed. Angle of elevation is the angle from the horizontal to the line of sight of the observer to the object above. And when we said angle of depression, it is the angle from the horizontal to the line of sight of the observer to the object below. Again, huwag kakalimutan ang mnemonic which is SOKATOA na kung saan ang formula ng sine is opposite over hypotenuse, ang formula ng cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, at ang formula naman ng tangent is opposite over adjacent. Sana ay nakatulong ang video na ito sa inyong lesson. Thank you for watching. If you have questions or suggestions, feel free to comment below. Enjoy learning mathematics. God bless us all!